Alright YouTube, what is going on? It's High Terror 5000 here today bringing you an Olaf's Quest Quest Guide. The quest requirements for this quest are you must have completed the Fremenic Trials quest. You must have level 40 fire making, you must also have level 50 wood cutting and you must also be able to kill a level 49 monster. The items required for this quest are a spade, however this cannot be on tool belt so make sure you bring a spade in your inventory. You also might need to bring armor, weapon and food if you are lower level to be able to kill this level 49 monster. So to get this quest started you want to make your way to north of Keldegrim entrance just northeast of Relica. The best way of getting here is using the Relica lodestone which is just located to the east of Relica. Once you get to the quest start point you want to go ahead and talk to Olaf. Once you get the option you want to select, option number one, okay, I'll help you out. From Olaf you want to climb the hill to the east up until you get to a windswept tree. Once you find this tree just behind a cave entrance and an ice statue, you want to chop it down and get one logs. After you've obtained these in your inventory, head back to Olaf. Once you arrive back at Olaf, go ahead and talk to him. From Olaf, you want to head to the entrance to Relica. Once you arrive at the entrance to Relica, you want to head a little bit north and a little bit east until you find a well. Round about the well you'll find this person called Ingrid, go ahead and talk to her. Once you finish talking to her you want to head north up towards the helmet shop and then to the east of that beside the water there's going to be this person called Wolf. Go ahead and talk to Wolf when you find him. Once the conversation is complete, he will give you a shark. At this stage, you want to return to Olaf. Once you arrive back at Olaf, go ahead and talk to him. He is going to say that he is cold, so he's going to give you some damp planks. From here, you want to use the damp planks on the fire pit embers, and then from there, that should create a fire, and that will make Olaf happy. Once the fire is lit, go ahead and talk to Olaf again and then you'll get the option. Select option number one, alright, here have some food, now give me the map. Olaf will then hand you a map which you can read or not. From there though, what you're going to do is head back up the hill to the east back up to the windswept tree. This time we're going to stand beside it, not cut it down, but instead we're going to use our spade and we're going to dig beside it. From here what will happen is you'll dig a hole and then you'll land up in a slimy pit. Once you arrive in the slimy pit you want to head east along the corridor until you get to a junction. You want to continue north and then west until you start passing loads of skeletons. You want to stop and kill one of them skeletons. They'll drop a key Pick that up and advance to the door. Once you arrive at the door, there is going to be a puzzle to solve with a skull. You want to pull the right lever down, then the top lever down, then the left lever down, the middle lever down, and then finally the bottom lever to the left. You then want to re-search the door to pass through into the next room and follow the path round. Once you arrive in the room you'll see some red dots on the floor. These are ropes and barrels. What you want to do is go ahead and pick yourself up six ropes and two barrels. Once you've done that you want to head up to the northeastern corner where there is a bridge with missing planks. 
Once you arrive on the bridge, you will see there are two holes. You want to select your barrels and then use the barrels on the walkway. And then this means when they are in place, you can walk over them and advance to the gate. There are two of them right beside each other. You'll then arrive at a gate which you want to try and open. This will then come up on screen which you can see there are different shapes. Look at the key in your inventory, the handle of that will be a certain shape. Mine was a square. You then want to click on the square on the gate in your screen to unlock the gate. You'll then pass through. Once you're through the gate, continue east along the wooden planks until you get onto the ground. You will then see a wrecked ship. And with this wrecked ship, to the north there is going to be a chest which you want to run around and search. At this stage, get ready for combat as we're about to fight the level 49 monster. Once you reach the chest, a skeleton will appear. Go ahead and kill it. Once you've killed the skeleton, go ahead, turn around and reopen the chest and that will be the quest complete. So congratulations, you've completed Olaf's quest. You're awarded with one quest point, access to Brian Ratcave, 20,000 GP, 4 rubies, 12,000 defense experience and 2 treasure hunter keys. Thank you very much for watching this quest guide. Please leave a like rating, subscribe if you're new around here. That's all for this video, so my name is Hightower5000 and I'm out. Adios.